The most important thing about learning fly ground is, by the way, the guy that won the pair of Jocelyn's is right here. And if you want to win a pair of Jocelyn's, then all you got to do is leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel, and just shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I'll pick a winner out of there. And if you can, share this video with your friends because I'm giving away a pair of shoes on all of my videos for as long as I can. So that's Monday and Friday. Anyways, let's go ahead and learn how to fall down. <laughs> let's, let's learn how to fall down. <laughs> The most important thing about learning fly ground tricks isn't knowing the tricks themselves, but learning how to fall down when those tricks don't work out. My name is Christian Flores and I'm going to teach you how to fall down on fly ground. I know that skateboarding can be really frustrating when you're trying to learn a trick, but it can be even worse if you hurt yourself just because you fell the wrong way. Me teaching you how to do hard flips and burial hills is really fun and all, but what are you supposed to do when that trick goes wrong? Luckily, when you're learning tricks on flat ground, you don't actually fall all the way down to the ground. However, there are those times where you just cannot stop yourself from falling completely to the ground. And the most important thing to remember when this happens is to do a little bit of tucking and roll. One thing you definitely don't want to do when you fall is put all the impact on your wrist. That is a really bad way to really hurt your wrist and even worse, maybe break it. And trust me, you do not want to break your wrist. It hurts really bad. To take the impact off of just your wrist, you want to use your hand to get yourself over to your shoulder to where you will tuck and roll and be able to pop back onto your feet. When you fall this way, you're not taking all the impact on one part of your body. Ow, don't do that, see? That, don't do that. You are distributing the weight of the fall across your whole body, making the impact a lot less for you as a whole. When you fall trying to do a frontside trick, you want to use that momentum from going forward to roll onto your back, over your shoulder, and pop back onto your feet so you can get up and keep trying your trick. And if you're doing a backside trick, then those same rules apply. But let's say you're going a little slower and you don't really want to roll all the way over. You still use the momentum to go onto your back, but you do not slam straight to your back. You use that momentum to rock back and forth, distributing the impact. You do not slam straight to your butt or straight to your back. It's exactly like skipping a rock across a pond. If you drop a rock straight into some water, it's gonna make a big splash. But if you skip that rock across a pond, it's gonna cause a bunch of little splashes and not a lot of impact. So you do not fall straight down. You distribute your weight across a longer distance, making that fall a lot less impactful for you. Another thing that'll help a lot is finding a place that's nice and smooth to skate. It'll cause a lot less scratches and cuts on your back. Leave a comment down below, let me know if this video helped you, what shoes you want me to review, what board you want me to review, and if you sent me a DM because you want to win some Jocelyn's, because I'm giving away pairs of shoes on Mondays and Fridays for as long as I can. But I need about a million more subscribers so I can give a lot more stuff away. So that would be dope. Help me get there. Share this with friends and stuff. And let's build this channel together. Together. I missed the fingers. Are you telling me that you're one of the thousands of people who downloaded the sticker app but have not hit subscribe yet? Well, why not? Christian, there's just not enough stickers yet for me to subscribe. <laughs> Lucky for you that there's an endless supply of animations added to the app just for you subscribers. So download my sticker app in the description down below and hit that subscribe button for the endless amount of updates. This hair is getting so long. Yo, should I cut my hair? Comment down below. Should I not cut my hair? Comment down below. Should I give away more shoes? Frick out it! Frickin' frick out it! Frickin' mother frick out it! <laughs> yeah, I'm giving away more shoes. Um, subscribe and you know? We're a channel about giving. Giving information and giving shoes. As long as I can. So as long as I can, I will. But when I can't, I don't know, sorry. At least I got to give some people shoes. Um, oh, what was I, I going to say? <laughs>